Hey, good evening, morning, I know it's late. Happy Saturday to you. It is your girl, Tuffy Speaks. I definitely will not be on her loud because, yeah, baby, I am tired. <laughs> but I titled the video, Be a Light in a Dark Place. And the reason why I did that, I know you guys may have seen my post from earlier. But today would have been my grandmother's 78th birthday. And it has been a very interesting day rough you know a ball of emotion because she was like the matriarch of the family okay and so i didn't sleep yesterday because a friend of mine needed me and i had to encourage her so pretty much my day it was very good it was productive i got some work done at home i you know spent some time with uh loved ones and then Somebody wanted to want my baby to bless their presents. So I was like, okay, so I'm kind of having some me time. But in the process of all of that, I stopped by here to tell you today that sometimes you have to be a light in a dark place. And with that being said, I knew that my mom, she was going to shut down today. I just knew it. I know her. I mean, anybody would. Like, you know, still kind of going through the you, the loss of your mom is never easy today was her birthday so you know i mean it's never easy so what i did because i also believe in yes people they pass on but i believe that they're always still with us whether they're not here in the physical i believe they're always here in the spirit so i was put on my spirit to go and be a light in a dark place so i went and i bought her a bunch of things that she really loved because i knew that she was in a dark place. I knew that these things and these items would enhance her, make her feel better. So I'll just tell you guys what I bought. We're going to speak a little bit and we're going to go. So I bought her uh, a yellow. So before I get to what I bought her, I had a dream the night before that I seen my granny and um, it was like these yellow flowers in a dream. And it was like absolutely beautiful. I don't know what the yellow flowers meant. But I thought they were beautiful and I had the I just had the wrong with it. So what I did was I went and and I, I got I found a picture of my mom and granny, right? And I printed that off and put it in a little cute little frame. It's supposed to be a cube, but my order got messed up, even nonetheless. And then I got her a cup that had the gold K on there because she loves K and she loves cups. But my grandma her favorite color was gold. Then I got her a balloon, yeah, I was, it was yellow. Um, I got her some yellow flowers, a pink flower, some candy, a little thing like they got coffee that she could paint and said basically all the stuff she like a uh, butterfly stickers, applique, whatever I got. So when I get to her house, she's like, "What is this? What are you doing?" Right? And I'm like, "Yo, like I know you. I know it's a hard day. It's not easy. I got a nice car too." So I gave her to get for a shower with her because I knew she's in a dark place. And I'm like, this is gonna bring life to her. This is gonna bring light. Because I mean, I, I don't like to see people sad. I don't like to see people upset. So if I know that there's a way that I can bring you some joy and happiness, I'm gonna do that. So in the process of me doing that, um, I mean, I felt like I was blessed. You know, I still was sad too, but it was like, hey, you know, I, I, I believe that we in a teddy bear, right? We have to, um, you have to celebrate. You know what I mean? So the word for the day and the message for the day, if you know somebody that is grieving or mourning or going through just, you know, a mental health break or depression or whatever it is, go and get some things that they may like and shower them, right? Go and, and enhance their life by giving them something that's going to make them feel like, man, I was in a dark place, but somebody cared about me. Hey, like, this is a thing, right? You know, because... I know a lot of times we we are all busy. We don't have time to um, tap in, but definitely be a light in a dark place. I'm so grateful and thankful that I was able to do that, right? Nobody would have thought of that. Most times people say, oh, I'm so sorry, or my condolences. But it's like, no, we still going to celebrate. You know what I mean? We going to celebrate, but I, I did it with a twist. So I bought her things that she loves or that she likes that, she, that reminded her of not only herself, but grandma as well. But now she can celebrate in a positive way. She can turn 
you know what I mean, a dark place into a light, you know what I mean? So, again, somebody that you know is going through it, I'm so tired, y'all gotta, y'all gotta forgive me. But if somebody you know is going through it, be a light in a dark place, be a blessing to be a blessing, right? Somebody calling you that you really talk to, ever heard from, answer the phone and see what's going on. All of these things, you guys. So, I just wanted to share that tonight because it was very impactful. It really did enhance and bless my life, right? Because for one, it's my mom. And for two, it just makes sense. Be a light in a dark place. Somebody going through it, go and figure out some kind of way to make them happy, to bring them some joy. Smile at them, you know what I mean? Find out what they like and enhance their life that way. Because it is absolutely positively the little things that matter the most. And, and I'm about to go to sleep in a minute. As you guys see, I'm very tired. I have not slept in 24 hours because I still had to, you know, help a friend. And, you know, I was, I was a light in a dark place. So that's all I'm saying today. It's simple things. It's phone calls. It's dropping off a simple gift. It's just going to check on people, talking to them. It's, it's that, right? Um, I done sacrificed, you know, most of my sleep and all of that. But well, when I go to sleep tonight, because y'all see I'm chinky out, it is going down. But I wanted to get on here and let you guys know, please be a light in a dark place. Please encourage somebody. Please smile at somebody. Please motivate somebody. Even when that person is shut down, even when they don't want to be bothered, I guarantee you, they are going to come around and they're going to be like, look, you know what? I never forget when this person did this and that. I never forget when this person did that, right? They don't forget these things and you shouldn't either. You know, think about think about when you were in a situation. Who was there for you, right? Think on these things. So, I wanted to talk about that. I probably will talk about more of this tomorrow or something else tomorrow. But for the time being, and for right now, I got to go to sleep. Long live my queen. Long live my granny. Shout out to my mama. We're going to keep praying for you. We're going to keep loving you and uplifting you. And again, be a light in a dark place. And if you are watching this on Facebook, please feel free to follow me and on uh, my, my recording. Please feel free to follow me at Topi Speaks on all your social media handles. And if you are on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Topi Speaks. This is definitely new to me and I am getting the hang of it. But right now, the only thing I'm about to get a hang of is that bed in that pillow. It has been your edition of Toby Speaks. Make sure that you be a light in a dark place. Have a great night and a happy Sunday. Bye.